It's probably unfair to keep comparing these physics destruction games to Angry Birds, but while playing Burn the City, how can you not? In an interesting spin on things, you take control of a giant fire-breathing lizard. When I say control, he just sits there as you command which trajectory to shoot fire at in order to destroy all the buildings on screen. The name of the game is maximising your score. Upon your fireball hitting a high rise, structural weak points become available. Hitting these to destroy the buildings, ricocheting your fireballs onto other buildings and hitting explosives all raise said score. Depending on how efficient your destruction is, you're awarded with bronze, silver or gold medals at the end of each of the 45 levels available. The game has a pleasant look to it, with the monster being quite endearing as he slumps around, spewing hot death on an unsuspecting metropolis. The sound of him readying his throat before firing is still amusing after playing through the majority of the game's content. Sadly, the physics of both the fireball and the destroyed buildings feel a bit floaty and could have used more fine tuning to really give your carnage some impact. Burn the City has some neat ideas, the yum packages add some flavour to the gameplay, and the levels with the chain and boulder are a lot of fun to work with. The game probably could have benefited from going more in a puzzle direction, as the stages where you have to use a bit of thinking to level the cities are the most enjoyable. In the end, Burn the City stretches its premise a bit thin, but at the low price, fans of the genre may want to give it a look. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.